This is just a brief video today that's going to be of interest to anyone who loves data, is interested in economics, interested in what data can tell us about the world and how we can learn from it. Today, Hans Rosling died at the age of 68. And if you're not familiar with him, I just want to, to encourage you today to take a little bit of time to check out some of the great work that he has done in popularizing statistics and making statistics, making data available to people in ways that are very interesting. I'll put some links to a couple of these things in the comments below. Hans Rosling did 10 TED Talks that you can watch and, and get a good idea about what he's all about. Uh, he loved taking data that a lot of people aren't really aware of in the world and making really compelling presentations to help us learn about the relationships between different variables, to make us aware of how poor countries are different in some ways that, that you would expect and, and not different in many ways, really revealing a lot of things to me that I was not aware of in following his, his videos and his work over the years. Another thing I'll link to is <clears throat> Gapminder. Uh, he was co-founder of this organization, Gapminder.org, and he has this little tool that he and, and his co-founder developed called Trendalyzer, and it allows you to very easily select different variables on the y-axis and on the x-axis, and also choose different countries and the size of the bubbles you can you can choose to display a different dimension generally that is related to the population in a country or in a region and it allows you to visualize changes over time so this is just a quick one i i threw together to give you an idea of what you can do with this so you can play a little data movie here this one goes from 95 to 2007 and it shows you the relationship between the mean years in school for women between ages 15 and 44 and the relationship between that and math achievement of children in eighth grade in those countries. And so you can look at what was going on in 95 and then you can watch how things have changed over several years. It's a really cool way to visualize things. And if you just choose random variables and play with these, you're guaranteed to learn something. So again, this is just a brief message. If you're not familiar with Hans Rosling, please check him out. And I'm sure your life will be enriched. This is Berkey Academy signing out. Good luck with all your studies.